Hi friends, today we're going to talk about drawing bodies. So the first thing that's important to know is how tall a body is supposed to be. So generally speaking for a human male, your body should be the length of eight heads tall. And what that means is whatever size head that you decide to draw for your character, you should be able to fit eight of those heads all the way down. That's where their feet would end up on the ground. Now for a female um, or for a smaller male, the height requirement there would be a seven head tall character. Now, anime tends to live somewhere in between the seven and six heads tall world. Um, a child would be about five heads tall, and then a small little toddler would be about three heads tall. So these are just the basic measurements of how big or small your person should be. Now, when drawing people, it's really, really important to do a couple of things. First is to practice a lot. That's the only way um, that you learn how to draw people well. And then the second thing that's really important is that you use some sort of reference. So the best reference that you can get is one of these lovely little mannequin people. Um, they're super fun. You can move them into almost any position that you want and you can draw starting out with the basic shapes, which is what we're going to do right now. And it just makes things a little bit easier. So first thing we're going to do is just draw our basic front facing person. Now we're going to start with basic shapes and then we're going to add more detail to make them more defined. In a future video, we'll talk more about different body poses and foreshortening and all sorts of things like that. But for now, we're just going to focus on uh, getting our body laid out on the page. So I've got a front view here of a head and I've got this head shape. So I know, generally speaking, for measurements that I'm going to want to make the feet go all the way to the bottom of the page. Um, and so from here, I'm going to use very, very basic shapes. So I'm going to add a circle for the neck. Then I'm going to add sort of a triangle shape for the body. Now the width of the chest should be equal to about another head's width so that if you split it down the middle, you'd have about two heads on either side. So it's about half of the head's width there. Then I'm going to add the shoulders, which are going to be circles again. Now those kind of come off of there. Then from here, I'm going to add this sort of rounded triangle shape for the body. Now, one thing that's important to keep in mind with arms is that the elbows generally tend to be at the hips. And the hands generally tend to be at the thighs. So we're going to just kind of mark off where we think our hands are going to go right there for now. So we've got our elbows here. Then we're going to do another circle in the middle here that overlaps that shape. And then we're going to give him or her some hips. All right, then we've got knees. And then we're gonna have some feet all the way down here at the bottom. Got some knees down there and then feet all the way down. So now I wanna add the shapes for my arms. So for arms, generally basic shape is just connecting from the outer edges of the circles that you've already drawn. So just kind of an arced shape there. Then I'm gonna do the same thing down here, but a little bit skinnier and a little bit smaller version of that. Because as you know, the forearms are a little bit smaller. Then for the hands, for the basic shape of the hand for this, I am just going to draw sort of a little mitten. Now, 
hands, remember, should be about three quarters the size of a head. So that is probably a good size for a hand for this size person. Now their arms might be a little long. I might have to go fix it, but that's okay. You want to just start by getting all your basic shapes laid out. And then from there, it's easier to make um, some more adjustments. So now I'm going to add my thighs, which again, they're very similar shape um, to the same shape I added up here. It's just a little bit wider. So starting at the edge of that shape and going around those circles that I drew for my knees. And then I want to do again, very similar thing down here. Like this. And like that. And then I've just kind of got the basic feeling of a front facing foot right there. All right. So the next thing I want to do is do a second layer of detail to make this look more like a person and less like, you know, a stick figure or mannequin kind of guy. So what I'm going to do, um, and this, we're not going to focus on faces in this video. We're just going to focus on body shapes. Um, there will be other videos to talk about face and facial details. So for the neck, I'm going to start at the corner here and I'm going to kind of go out like this and wrap it around this shoulder. So the goal here is to kind of give ourselves a smoother transition and then we're going to er start erasing our guidelines or our basic shapes out of our person. All right, so then we're also going to think about, is this person going to be wearing clothes? What's happening here? If they are going to be wearing uh, clothes, now is even a good time to start planning out some of those clothes because you might end up covering some areas um, that then you don't have to worry about. So that's a good kind of thing to think of. But for now, we'll focus on just changing up all the rest of these shapes here. So the arms should be pretty good. Um, once you erase those circles. And then of course we want to add hands and feel free if hands are something that is challenging for you. I have a different video that focuses more on hands and how you can get really great hand details. Um, and then depending on the gender of the person, um, that'll depend on kind of what happens in their chest and torso area. Um, and again, these are just suggestions. And of course, there's always, you know, skinnier men or, you know, things like that. So don't feel like these are always, um, always 100% the rule, but generally speaking. So we're going to make a female in general terms. So what we're going to do is use our nice waist curve that we've already got here. And we're going to just connect these areas for now. And then we're going to erase some of these shapes out of here. Now, if it were a female, we might want to also make the shoulders a little bit softer. That might be another way to make the body look a little more feminine. So men tend to have pointier, you know, wider and pointier shoulders um, and girls or females tend to have a little bit rounder, a little bit smaller shoulders. And then if it's a female, we'll talk about this area here. All right. Now, the belly button would probably be around here just to kind of keep going with where things would be. So then maybe if we add pants or something like that, or we know that it might start here. Now I need to also kind of block in my legs because they're still in um, that basic shape format. So I want to start erasing those in between shapes and just kind of focus on this outline here. I have to 
make these legs a little bit more even. And again, the best and only way to get good at drawing the human body is to draw lots of it, um, to do lots of practice. There are tons of references out there for um, figure drawing and things like that that will really give you some nice muscles and different options. And so I highly recommend checking some of those out. Um, but for now, we've got kind of just your basic front facing person with all of their limbs intact. Um, and then now you would start, you know, adding cool details or making them a little bit different. So I hope you like this video and more to come.